Hello uh, gamers, this is uh, Winter here. I found this uh, interesting game uh, about a week ago called Molly Colony and it's uh, kind of like a, a building game where you colonize a new planet. So I'm just going to take you through kind of building a base from scratch and uh, give some tips that uh, might help you out. So we'll start off, we'll create a new colony and we'll use uh, United Earth as our thing, as our homeworld. Um, there's also the Zolarg Empire, which is kind of a bug-based thing, but it's still in development. And then there's Colonial Charter. You can start your you can start your colony underneath uh, a parent colony. It's actually kind of useful, but you need an online connection. Uh, it's useful because you can kind of get help from your parent colony uh, early on in the game if you need certain resources. But we'll go with Earth for this video. And then We'll go with the red planet uh, just because it's the easiest and uh, I'll make future videos about the other two, the lunar and forest world, but for this one we'll do red planet. And we'll give the colony a name, uh, let's call it uh, New World. Now the thing you're seeing in the background is kind of a, another game I had loaded up, but uh, it should be blank normally. So map size will go with medium. Um, the larger maps are, are are a little bit slower, especially mega. And just for this video, I'll use medium because it's a bit, a bit faster. And for resources, you can have scarce, normal, or abundant. I'll go abundant just for this video. Uh, so here we are. We've uh, created a new world. Um, this video is actually a redo of kind of um, I had done it once before, but I wasn't zoom. I was zoomed way out, so like it was impossible to see anything. So this is hopefully going to be a better version of that. So you start off with one rover, and you want to get uh, it harvesting right away, and it'll harvest uh, these ore bodies, ore deposits, which have five thousand ore each. And then once you have five, at least five ore, you probably can't see it, uh, but up here at the top, there's a uh, shows all your resources. So we have twenty ore so far and now we have 30 so he's getting 10 at a time so now we can build some more rovers uh, so you can use the build menu here this game is available on Android and iPhone and even Chrome but I'm playing the PC version right now so the PC version has this other menu to the right here which is kind of useful um, I'll, I'll probably use it just to build the vehicle so there's an all vehicles here and I can click so I'm going to make a bunch. Let's make uh, let's make ten of them or so. So I do this because I want to I want to be able to show you two things. So there's there's a way to select all units, and you long click on Android, kind of long press, or on PC you long uh, left mouse click. And it'll select all units and then it's nice so you can kind of manage them all at once and what I'm going to do first is get up there's a park option and I'm just going to park them kind of right here and it lets me you know keep track of where they are so if I need to use them in the future they'll all be over here you can individually park them as well uh, just if you want to make them like nice and neat, neat and tidy but the other I think nice thing that I didn't know about early on was you can long press as well and you'll get a bounding box this green box and then you can select just the ones you want uh, I'll select all but one and then you can tell them all to harvest and there they go harvesting away that's probably enough for now that'll get our ore going pretty fast so they'll generally go to the closest ore body and deplete it and then they'll move on to the next one and this map size, as I zoom out, it's pretty big. So there's a lot of ore bodies around. But um, as I'll show, these probably won't get used later on because you can build your own uh, ore bodies. But we'll get to that in a second. So I usually also build, I dedicate a few rovers um, just for building. I mean, these ones can do their Thing because when you build a building, if you have more than one rover, it'll build faster. So, this one's in the way. 
get out of the way. <laughs> so we'll park a three over here. So we'll use three for building. You can use, you know, up to as many as you want, but an ideal kind of a number of rovers or builders to use at once is probably about nine, but let's just use three. Um, so we'll just select one and then we'll do, if you select one and ask it to build, all the idle rovers will help out building. So we'll build, um, what should we build first? We have no power generation really yet, so let's build some solar panels. And you can kind of build one at a time, or you can kind of click and it'll make a whole row of them. So let's let's make uh, let's make a bunch. They cost 150 ore each. We're already up to 2,000 ore, so that's okay. And this will bring our power up to... Uh, we started a bit with 3 power. And let's see how much we have now. So now we have 59 power. Um, let's build some other stuff. So we'll need some food. And the greenhouse is good for that. Uh, so let's build... Oh, we need some workers first. So we have two out of two workers. We need, let, well, let's, let's build some greenhouses first. We need some food to feed our colonists. So let's, uh, let's put those over here. Let's build a couple for now. This, uh, this enables you to generate food and it also increases the storage a little bit for your food. So now this little green progress bar, can, when you're clicked on the, a building, we'll show you you know when the next thing is going to be coming out. I'll actually turn on, there's these engine settings under settings where you can render your colonists and you can render your these things called text poppers which allows you to see um, when something is made. So when this finishes here we should see like a food there F7. So that means seven food was made. I generally turn off that setting though because it, uh, when the map gets really big and busy, it can slow performance down. So we got some power, we got some food. What else can we build here? We're going to need some water, so let's build some small water pumps. I think in my first version of this video, I didn't, I didn't build too many of these, but um, anyway, we need, we need water. Water is important. So let's build, let's build some over here. Let's just build four for now. I think in my first video I didn't bother with too many of them because there's these ice deposits and they have 35,000 water in them. And you can build a bot called a water bot which can harvest these. So let's, we'll be doing that soon. Let's, let's build. So here we got our water pumps. Um, they're generating three water per every few seconds. And let's build something else here. So we can build a small vehicle factory which unlocks a bunch of other vehicles that you can build. It takes one worker, so let's let's put that kind of close to the center here. I've watched a bunch of other videos about other people playing this game and they they often build just a few of these rovers and few vehicles and I mean, it's fine, but you can build a whole whack of them and you can speed things up, which is nice. So inside this vehicle factory now, we can build uh, three new types of things. So we can build a water bot, a builder bot, um, which lets you build other structures, and an ore miner. So let's build the water bot first. Here he is, he's blue instead of green. Uh, and let's build a builder bot, because we want to build some other things here too. So as they come out of the building, they kind of stack on top of each other, so you can park them off to the side here, so they you can keep tell them apart, basically. So when, we could take this water bot and get him harvesting, and he'll go he'll go to this ice deposit, and then back to the lander, and which is fine, but it's a bit slow. So one kind of trick we can do is to build. Uh, Using our new builder bot, we can build a bunch of new things. Um, but the thing I want to show you is the where is it? The water tank. 
So if you put your water tank right beside, oops, right beside, um, I'll need one of them, right beside the ice deposit, what ends up happening is, let's, let's build it first. What ends up happening is the, the water bot, instead of going from the ice to the lander, to the ice to the lander, he will just, um, once he passes around a bit, now, now, he, now he's here, He's actually harvesting, even though he's not moving anymore. So he's harvesting out of this or, or out of this ice, and he's putting it right in the water tank. And as you, if you cl continually click on the ice deposit, you can see it go be going down. So it's at thirty-four thousand seven hundred thirty, and then now they're thirty-four thousand seven hundred. So it's like the most optimal way to to mine this ice because there's no movement, and our water is going up really fast now. So. You can do that in parallel as well. You, since there's other ice deposits on the map, we could do the same kind of setup over here. So I'll do that. I'll do one more. So build a water bot, park them over here, take our builder bot and build water tank, but over here about this ice deposit, confirm. And then we can select our water bot and just kind of move him close by to this deposit so he's ready to go. So now we got our water tank right there. And no matter where the tanks are, um, the, they just dump into our main kind of resource pool. So and we do harvest. And now even though he's not moving, the ice is going down and he's harvesting. So it's kind of a nice trick. Basically, you're keeping your harvesters as close to the resource as possible. So I'm also going to build a few more builder bots because if you have a few of them, you can build things faster. So let's build. Let's build uh, five of them for now. Sometimes when you build a uh, a vehicle, it will it'll be hidden underneath the building or hidden behind the building. So you feel like you've built it and you can't find it. Um, I think it's a bug, or, but it's kind of annoying. But you can, if you hover over a building, it becomes transparent and you can kind of see inside it and around it. So that's kind of useful. So what else can we build here? Let's build, um, pavement is very, I'll save pavement for the next video. Um, silos, silos store our food. Um, so we can build a few silos. They don't need to be near, near your greenhouses, but I'll just put them over there anyway, and I'll build four of them. Our food storage right now is only 150, uh, so we're actually like we're at capacity, so the greenhouses aren't producing. But now that we have more storage, now we're up to a thousand food storage capacity. Um, the f the food will start generating again. Uh, it's another another type of oh maybe let's do we have all the buildings yet let's see uh small shelters now we have two colonists and our capacity for colonists is two so we need more housing to uh, allow them to live now it's good to put your housing kind of near buildings that have workers so these greenhouses have two workers going so i'll build and we'll probably build a few more greenhouses, so I'll build a couple houses over over by these greenhouses. These houses, these small shelters hold three residents each. So there's a thing um, I'll talk about in future videos where colonists, you want to keep them happy. And one of the things that determines their happiness is their commute length. So they have to commute from this housing to this job here. And that will be a really short commute length, so that'll keep them happy and keep their energy up. Uh, this this small vehicle factory, well, it actually doesn't have any workers, but you can still build build vehicles. But eventually, when we get more colonists, uh, uh, we should put probably some housing there. Now, even though we can now house eight colonists, we we have no new ones coming in, so we need to build a landing pad. Which is basically like, you know, new new rockets or whatever are coming in every so often. Now I'll put that kind of far away because 
somewhat far away because it doesn't they don't need to be you know it's not like the the colonists land on the landing pad and then walk in as far as i know so and they're pretty big and they take up a lot of space so i'll put it over here so our food is actually it's good to, a good idea to keep an idea uh sorry i look at these this bar up here of your resources so we're kind of our food consumption is pretty low so we want some more greenhouses you want to watch water and food closely uh, and make sure that they're not going down if they're if they're colored red instead of green it means they're going down and i guess if they're orange that means they're at capacity and nothing nothing more is being produced so our water bot even though he's harvesting he has, there's no more capacity for water so it's not really being stored so we can build a few more water tanks maybe over here to get our our storage up we can hold 3400 water right now but after this we'll have some more capacity that way at least we're as we're harvesting we it doesn't if there's no capacity um, you, your your bots are basically wasting their time so it's good to get more capacity so now we can hold 15,000 water and we want to build well we've got one landing pad so now we've got a new colonist we have three out of eight colonists uh, and you can see the progress bar here you can see when it gets to the end uh, you'll get another colonist so if you want your population to grow a little bit faster you can build more than one of these so let's build let's build three of them In the next video, I'll go over some of these other things like pavement, which speeds up vehicle speed, and the internet relay booth, which provides entertainment, which is important. But for now, I think I'll wrap up this video and save the save the rest for next time. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful. Uh, please like the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for updates on uh, new videos. Thanks.